Hello and welcome back to the Baggies Podcast YouTube channel, where of course we're giving you all the latest news, views and opinions on all things Albion. Happy New Year! And we've got a very special treat in store for you today. I am absolutely buzzing because West Bromwich Albion have signed American forward Daryl DK on a permanent deal. Yeah, we're going to be discussing all the details of the move, talking about what he's going to bring to the club. We're going to be welcoming in Joe from the Barnsley channel, Red All Over. He's going to be giving his thoughts on uh, Daryl DK and what he did for the Tykes last season as well. We'll be taking you through all the steps, all the deals, all, all the deal and, you know, basically everything about Daryl DK. Uh, obviously, did a video about him a few days ago where I essentially talked about what he'd bring to West Brom. And I'm going to be doing a little bit of a similar thing here, but also running uh, the rule over the deal that's been done between West Brom and Jalvin and Orlando City. I am absolutely ecstatic. I'm filming this literally seconds after the announcement. So, yeah. We, we can't wait for this one. I mean, what a sign-in on a permanent deal as well. We all thought it was a loan. It is a permanent. I mean, I'm I'm buzzing. We can't wait to see him in action. And yeah, if you're new around here, new to the Baggies Podcast YouTube channel, be sure to subscribe, turn your notifications on so you never miss an upload. Comment your thoughts on whether you think Daryl DK is going to be a good fit. I personally think he will be. I think he's the... I think it's the answer to our goal-scoring problems, at least for now. And I feel like that's the biggest problem at Albion at the moment. So I can't wait to see what DK gets up to when he uh, gets into the Albion action. But yeah, let's get straight into this video. Let's take a look at what sort of a deal we've got for Daryl DK. And before we crack on, let's take a look at exactly how they announced the American forward. So what a sign in for Albion. I mean, I am absolutely ecstatic. I will I won't lie to you at all. I mean, I'm I'm incredibly pleased with this transfer. I you know, it's been a fantastic it's been a long time coming to see a bit of investment from the club and I feel like this is the deal that that could change quite a lot for Albion this season. It's you know, he's a player that has clearly done it at championship level. He's clearly got the the idea, the IQ to play at this level. He's a he's somebody that Seems like he fits Ishmael's system really well, and I feel like he's going to be the guy to to propel us as close as as close as we may get to promotion, if not to promotion. I'm not going to say he's the sign that's going to get get us promoted because obviously, you know, things will change. You know, you don't know how well he's going to play. You don't know how well the rest of the team's going to play. More importantly, but I think he's the step towards promotion, in my opinion. I think he is the one who's going to take you there if you are going to get there at all, in my opinion. I feel like that's the signing that you really need. He's the signing that's been missing. I feel like there are other issues in the squad, but I feel the goal scoring issue is the biggest issue for me. Uh, there, I'm not denying there are other problems, but this is definitely the gap that needed to be filled. Let's take a look at exactly what Albion said about the move. So, Albion are delighted to confirm the permanent transfer of United States of America international Daryl DK from Orlando City, subject to international clearance. So, yeah, well, we'll firstly say that it's not Dyke, it's DK. It's definitely not Daryl Dyke. I mean, yeah, it's, it seems like a Zohor, Zohor uh, spelling issue that's going to be going on re <laughs> on Twitter and stuff like that. But yeah, it is Daryl DK, and he signs from Orlando City, subject to international clearance. The 21-year-old striker who joins the Baggies for an undisclosed fee has signed a four-and-a-half-year deal contract at the Hawthorns. So the undisclosed fee, uh, according to the Athletic, is is reportedly upwards of uh, just uh, around seven million pounds. So yeah, that's quite a quite a lot, I think, for a Championship club to spend on a striker. Maybe not in today's world, and I do think that's a very good price for him. Obviously, you don't know what sort of add-ons they've got. Obviously, he's a high potential player, four and a half year deal as well. There's going to be some add-ons in there, but you know, if it's seven million on a sort of flat fee, and then sort of adding on money if he scores a certain amount of goals, if he gets a certain amount of caps for America, if he gets out being promoted that kind of thing I think is more than what we're looking at I mean you know he's he, he netted 11 goals in 19 MLS appearances last season and earned eight caps for his country he again teams up with Valerian Ishmael after firing Barnsley through the championship playoff with nine goals in in 13 uh, appearances during a four-month loan spell at Oakwell last term uh, yeah I mean it's amazing I mean yeah it's a fantastic permanent deal I mean I literally shot my seat when I saw that because I saw the, you know, the little teaser, you know, as Albion like to do, you know, uh, you know, I think he put what's up y'all or something like that. And he put a sort of picture of the shirt um, with the American flag around it. And then, 
you know, you think, oh, here we go, it's going to be the loan, and that's still a really good signing. But when I saw permanent, that is amazing because it just shows that Lai has actually, well, maybe he's not dipped his hand in his pocket. Maybe he's actually just let us have some of the funds that we've, you know, we, we, we've gained ourselves. But it's still an amazing deal for Albion, and I'm buzzing to see us finally get a bit of joy in a striker front. You know, it's been so long since we've had a striker that, is as and you know he scored he could score goals for us. We've had too many of the Rondon. Well, I, I like Rondon, of course. We got the got, we've got his match tap behind us, but I do like Rondon. You know the the strikers such as Brownie Day. You know those sort of players that you feel are going to be your marquee signings, but uh, in reality they haven't got the goal scoring record you need, and they haven't got the goal scoring instinct. I feel like DK could be at the start of a new role. Uh, of players at Albion that, that could do that job. I mean, you know, thinking back to decent strikers that we've had permanently over recent years, you know, it feels like that we've we've loaned quite a few in and DK, I was, thought, was just going to be another loan and we won't see him again after the six months, but permanent deal spells intent for me and maybe Lies dipped his hand in his pocket. I mean, I'm sure you can tell that I'm quite excited about this move, so let's crack on. But, you know, uh, Ishmael, I'm delighted that we've completed the transfer of DK. It was always the first target and priority. There's a lot of teamwork that has gone into this deal and I would personally like to thank Mr. Lai, Ken, Ron Gourley and Ian Pearce for making it happen so quickly. I mean, this is the 1st of January we're talking about. This is New Year's Day, the opening day of the window and we've got a deal done. This is not Albion. This is not This is not normal for Albion. I mean, to get a deal done so quickly is absolutely astounding and you know, massive fair play to, to, to everybody who's been involved in that transfer to get it done and over the line. Fair enough, it's probably helped that the MLS season is shut off for, 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 a, small, for a short bit of time at the moment because, um, you know, how, how the MLS season works, as we discussed in our recent video about DK. But, you know, you look at that and you, you see that, you know, you've got a player so early on in the window. It just does not seem very Albion to me. But I'm certainly going to take the transfer. I'm not going to sit here complaining, saying it's too early for Albion to have a transfer. I mean, I said, I literally said this morning to myself, I said, oh, it's January transfer window. And then I said to myself, cue the no signing until the 31st. And that signing turns out to be, you know, Harold Sakano on a five-year deal or something like that. But, you know, it's amazing. And I'm very glad that we got our deal done so early. And it proves that perhaps there's a little bit more intent going into this season and uh, maybe from the owner. And it doesn't make up for those absent three years that he's had so far, but it certainly does help soften the sort of the, the misery that we've had a, a, over the past few years, you know, with the lack of investment. It's really nice to see that we've got a player that we could we could actually use, really. So, yeah, um, Valerian Ishmael continued to say that DK has everything we need from the number nine position. He has energy, strength, and he challenges defenders and scores goals. I work with him at Barnsley and I know him very well. He has the mentality. He's 21 years old, still a young player, but a lot of experience. Ishmael insists the early capture of DK will aid the club in preparing him for the trip to Queen's Park Rangers on Saturday, January 15th and beyond. And he said, now it's about preparing Dyke for the champ DK for the championship. He added, it's important to get us DK early as possible because we know he needs to He's had four weeks off after the MLS season. For sure, he needs time and the schedule is for him is to work hard in the next two weeks so he's ready to play a part against QPR. That's our target now. With my staff, we will have to work very, very good build-up and using every day to ensure he's in top shape by that game. So that's amazing. So, obviously got the game against Cardiff tomorrow, which we're looking forward to. I mean, DK's going to come in, hopefully, for that, uh, that QPR game. Love to see him maybe... Could he get five minutes off the bench against Brighton? Probably not. He probably won't play any senior players against Brighton, let's be honest. But, you know, I look forward to seeing what he what he can add to the team. And I look forward to seeing what he can bring. But, yeah, let's 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 take a little bit of a switch over. That's enough from me really reading out statements. But, yeah, let's take a little switch over. And uh, let's see what uh, Joe from the Barnsley YouTube channel, Red All Over, has to say about him. Of course, he's uh, watched, obviously, the Red All Over channel cover Barnsley. And they've watched him play... Um, Play for Barnsley last season, scoring those those goals in the championship on their way to the playoffs. Uh, and Joe's going to just drop in some thoughts about what he thinks about DK and what he thinks this move is going to do for West Bromwich Albion. So big thank you to Joe for sending that in. Take it away, mate. Hey, Buggies fans. A big thanks to Louis from the Buggies podcast for having me on. My name's Joe from Red All Over, the YouTube show that talks about Barnsley FC. Um, so he's asked me to have a quick chat about Daryl DK. What can you expect from uh, your new signing? It sounds like he's going to be signing on loan, so I'm expecting that this will probably go out just after it's all been confirmed, but it's definitely looking very likely at this point. Um, what can you expect? A quality player. I've got to be honest, I am absolutely... Um, blown away with how good he was for Barnsley. I don't want to sound like too much of a fanboy, but he's just got all the attributes I love about a striker. 
He's big, he's strong, he's physical, but not just that, he can play. He's, he's got a good pass on him, a good touch. Um, he knows how to get at defences. He is still raw. He's, he's a young talent, so he's still a bit raw, doesn't always do the, make the right option, but generally a very, very good player. Um, he'll run at defenders, he'll scare them to death, he scares the life out of defenders. He definitely did for us, and I've seen him play for Orlando City as well, and he's done the same for them. Uh, but also, he's a goal scorer, and that's exactly what you guys need. I know when you played us at Oakwell the other week, uh, created plenty of chances, but couldn't put the ball in the net, the nil-nil uh, scoreline. So um, I think he's exactly what you need. He'll be brilliant under Valeri, and he was for us because he's good at that stuff style the hoof ball he knows how to to win challenges because he's so physical and just get at defenders uh gives away quite a lot of free kicks but i think that's generally just because of his size and he's, he's obviously style of play he's a physical player um but definitely uh, not a dirty player he's got a really good head on his shoulders from the looks as well uh really really driven and determined so i think you're getting an absolute superstar for me in the making i think he could definitely play in the premier league no doubt about that in the next couple of seasons um so yeah just I'm, I'm jealous i'm very jealous i'm not gonna lie to you west brom we'd love to have him at barnsley i think he'd single-handedly keep us up this season to be honest but um you know we're not in the same uh, same league as you guys this season even though we are we're not in terms of how we're performing so uh fair play to you i think he will get you promoted i think he's the missing link for west brom from what i've seen of you so an outside perspective i think he'll get you promoted and now put lots of expectation on his shoulders. I hope he performs for you. But all the best for the rest of the season, apart from when you play us, obviously. Um, a massive thank you to Joe for sending in that video clip. You can check out his Twitter and, of course, the Red All Over YouTube channel in the com uh, in the description below. Make sure to go and check them out. Drop them the subscription and help them out because uh, they do a great job over there with all things Barzy. But, yeah, Joe, echoing the thoughts of a lot of people, uh, a lot of Albion fans, he's clearly excited about seeing DK back in the uh, championship maybe not maybe he'd rather it be for Barnsley but yeah he's uh he's, he clearly thinks that he's the guy to to bring it in I mean you know I think think this is the missing piece in my opinion I mean you know he's he's uh, it's not it's not all the problems solved it's it's certainly not it goes a little bit deeper than that I, I feel like there are issues with the system and changes that need to be made but this does go a long way to help him solve those changes you know, if you've got a striker that can get you, like Dwight Gale used to do for us, we used to play terribly in some games and he'd just get us a goal and that would be the winning goal. That's all you need. You need the striker to make the difference. At the moment, we haven't got that striker, but now, hopefully, we have with DK and I feel like he's going to be the one to take us as far as we can towards promotion. I'm buzzing. Four and a half year deal, permanent deal as well. It's, a, it's an amazing move for Alvin. He could be worth a lot more than that in four, well, in, in less than four and a half years years time if he becomes a Premier League striker uh, with Albion I mean you know you could be selling him for, for a lot more than you paid for him for but I'm really really pleased with the deal uh, drop your comments down below I'd love to hear your thoughts it's been amazing uh, watching this deal really unfold quickly with uh, with obviously this morning we saw some news about that and then now we've finally got the news that we wanted which is that he signed um, hope you've enjoyed the video big thank you for watching make sure you drop your comments down below about Daryl DK love to hear what you think is this going to solve all of Albion's issues it is this signing going to get us promoted. Drop your comments in the section below and subscribe to the Baggies Podcast YouTube channel if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.